Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and pray a sin. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you in the name <clears throat> of Jesus, just thanking you, Lord, for these opportunities to share a word with your people. I ask that you would lead me and guide me and help me to speak on this message and that you would minister to those who are listening. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Lamb of God. So today I want to talk a little bit about some truth. You know, truth is something that, that nobody likes. And when you're doing things contrary to the truth and the truth confronts you, you will either submit, conform, and bow your knee to Jesus Christ, or you will suppress the truth in an excuse to justify the means of why you do what you do. That's just what the rebellious human nature does. It looks for excuses. Man looks for a way that seems right to justify the reasons of why they do what they do. Proverbs 16 verse 25 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but it ends in death. Remember, the Spirit of the Lord will never lead contrary to the truth. We got to hold on to this. That the Spirit of the Lord will never lead contrary to the truth. Because the Spirit of the Lord is the Spirit of truth. And the Spirit of holiness will never lead you to participate in an unholy day like Halloween. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And the Spirit of God is, a, is the Spirit of truth. And the Spirit of the Lord will never lead contrary to His nature. And His nature is holiness. And He would never lead people to participate in unholy holy festivals and this day of halloween is an unholy festival it's a it's a it's a day of demons it's, it's a special day that satanists hold on to it's a day that many people are going to be sacrificing children the occult are going to be doing sacrifices they are going to be doing a lot of evil and wicked things that I actually don't even want to uh, talk about. I mean, they, they are going to be participating in, in, in orgies. They're going to be doing all kinds of things on this day in the name of Lucifer. Because this is a day that honors the day of demons. And when you do your research on this particular day, it will blow your mind on how rooted it is in the occult. And the occult hold this day as a special day. And Alexander Crawley, he said this. He said, and he's the founder of the ch Church of Satan. And his name's Alexander Craw Crawley. And he said, I am really thankful that at least one day of the year, Christians actually worship the devil. And, you know... When he says this and you look at the reality of what he's saying, uh, I mean, you see that when you look out into the world. So many people who are professing Jesus Christ are going to be participating uh, in this day called Halloween today. They're going to be roasting hot dogs. They're going to be dressing their children up uh, in costumes. They are going to actually uh, be yoked up together with the day of the devil and this is the day for unbelievers and um the bible says that we are not to be unequally yoked i want to read this scripture to us it's in first corinthians uh, or second corinthians uh, chapter 6 verse 14 and i'm going to go on to verse 16 now i want us to really pay attention to the wording and, and what the holy spirit is speaking in this scripture it says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion 
has light with darkness. And what accord has Christ with Balao? And what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? And this scripture is pushing the point that we are not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And Halloween is a day for unbelievers. But there's going to be a lot of people who are professing the name of Jesus Christ that's going to be participating in this day today called Halloween. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21 says this. And 22, it says, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord in the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table in the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than He is? Our God is a jealous God. And He's a God that leads us and guides us in all truth. And I believe truly that the Spirit of Christ, the Holy Spirit of God, would not lead His people to participate in unholy festivals. But we're going to have a lot of people that's going to be professing Jesus Christ, that's going to be dressing up their children in, in Halloween costumes. And a lot of churches are going to be participating in this, having um, pumpkins with the lights in them. I mean, all that is symbolic. It, it symbolizes demons. I mean, if you look uh, into the into the root meaning of, of why they have the pumpkin on Halloween, I mean, it's symbolic for a, a certain type of demon. But yet they're going to have all kind of churches that's going to be actually being yoked up to this day of, that is actually the day of demons. And... um. I ran into this comment that somebody had posted, and this is what they said. Halloween is a time when the masks of those claiming to follow Jesus Christ falls off. And, um, I mean, that's a powerful statement, because when we think about when we give our lives to Jesus Christ, I mean, we are giving it all to Christ. We are letting go of the things of the world, and we are submitting our lives to the truth of who Jesus Christ is and what he calls us to do. And he calls us to righteousness. He calls us not to be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. And this day of demons, the day of Halloween, is a day for those who don't know Christ. This is a day that unbelievers uh, get together and they participate uh, in, in, in a day that's actually a day uh, of Satanism, where the occult does a lot of occultic rituals. They sacrifice children. I mean, uh, you just have to get on the internet and do your research and see the depth of how demonic this day is. I mean, you can go really deep in this and see what actually goes on on, on this day. I mean, it's actually a day of demons. And so many people claiming Jesus Christ are going to be participating in this day today. And um, this is not a day that um, God is actually pleased with. I believe that if believers are out there on the day of Halloween today, I believe that they should be preaching uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and, and talking to people about the truth and witnessing to them. Uh, I believe they shouldn't be participating in this. I mean, this is being unequally yoked. This is, this is not being obedient to Christ. This is not being led by the Holy Spirit, but allowing yourself to be led by a different spirit. And in this different spirit, it would be the spirit of the world. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, talking about Satan and calls him the prince of the power of of the air. He is the ruler of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 4 calls him the God of this age, who blinds the minds of people who don't 
believe. See, when you start to believe in Christ, the revelation of Jesus Christ begins to open you up on the inside to the realities of what life is all about. It opens you up to the truth. And you start to see things through a different perspective. You start to see things through the eyes of the Spirit of God because the Spirit of God is manifested in you. And the Bible says when the Spirit of truth comes, He will lead you and guide you in all truth. And I do not believe that born-again Christians who are really filled with the Spirit of God will not be able to to be participating in this day. I truly believe, according to Scripture, where it says the Spirit of the Lord will lead us and guide us in all truth, He will not allow born-again Christians to participate in this day. He will begin to bring conviction. He will bother their hearts because the love of God will be manifested in them. And the love of God will not allow you to do things that is displeasing the Christ. The Spirit of God will begin to deal with your heart and you will be bothered and troubled about whatever it is that God is dealing with you not to do. And in this case, it's the day of Halloween. The Bible says in 1 John, it says, do not love the world or the things of the world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. This day is a day that the spirit of the world uh, brings his people to participate in. And you have to think about this. Would you think Jesus would be dressing up like demons, painting his face and getting out there and um, just, just participating in a day uh, where everybody's dressing up like dead people and honoring the dead. Do you think Jesus would do this? We have to ask ourselves this question. We need to use like our common sense factor in this and look at what this day represents and know that God does not want us to participate in this. He does not want us to touch the unclean thing. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, he says, Come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Almighty God. Christ through the scriptures, speaking through the Holy Spirit, says, Come out from amongst them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not be unequally yoked to these unholy holidays. And in this case, this unholy holiday today is the day of demons. So I truly believe that in our common sense factor, if we are claiming the name of Christ and claiming to walk with God, in a relationship with Jesus Christ, we should not be participating in this day, but we should be talking to people about this day, talking to them about the gospel of Jesus Christ, and bringing the truth about what this day represents. And I believe truly that parents, moms, and dads shouldn't be condoning their children to um, dress up like demons on this day, but they should sit their children down and actually talk to them about what this day actually represents so that their children can come to the knowledge of the truth. And you know, a, children, a child is very innocent and a lot of times they listen really good. And if you really sit down and tell your children about the truth of this day and you dig up information on this subject and you share it with your kids, I can guarantee you they will not want to go or be participating in this. But glory be to the Lamb of God. I just wanted to talk a little bit on this day because I know there's going to have a lot of people that's going to be participating in this day. And I, I truly don't be, I truly believe, excuse me, I truly believe that the Holy Spirit would not allow His people to, per, per, uh, to participate in unholy festivals. Um, that's not the Spirit of God. It's, it's a different spirit if you feel like it's okay to participate 
in unholy holidays, holidays that glorify death, holidays that glorify demons, holidays that glorify Satan, holidays that glorify the cult. If you feel like it's okay to, to participate in this day, you're not being led by the Holy Spirit, but you are being led by a different spirit. And it's going to be the spirit of this age, the spirit of the world. And so glory be to the Lamb of God. I just wanted to kind of put this out here. I just felt like talking about it a little while. But y'all be blessed. And y'all have a, a glorious day today. And y'all keep fighting a good fight of fate and waging a good warfare.